Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY, and this is Ham Radio Adventures. Do you ever wonder how people carry their equipment, their ham radio equipment, like their radios, their antennas, anything that they have, their coax, whatever? Today we're going to talk about it and show you. I'm going to show you how I carry some of my stuff. Let's get started. So there's lots of different things you guys can use to carry your equipment. I'm just going to show a few of the things that I've found over the years that I've used. Uh, I have different things that I do. Sometimes I'm in my Forerunner. Uh, I want something to really uh, be protected. So I'll carry a case something like this, and I'll show this to you later. This is uh, this is actually from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, but I will put some links in the description below so that you can go to uh, Amazon or someplace like that. And if you do use Amazon, I am affiliate there and it does help the channel. So it doesn't cost you any more, but I make a little bit sometimes. And sometimes, you know, some of my equipment I have in here, I'll show all this stuff to you guys later. And sometimes I go with a backpack. I've got a couple backpacks that I use. It just depends on what I'm doing and what I want to carry or what radio I want to carry. So let's get with the video and I'll start showing you guys things. Okay, for, uh, I'm going to show you guys this here. I'll do some close-ups for you and show you what it is. This is a basically a Pelican box, but it's made by Harbor Freight. A lot cheaper than a Pelican box. Uh, Quality is close, maybe not as good, but it's waterproof. All the boxes I'm, like this I'm going to show you, most of my boxes are all waterproof and they have a rubber liner and I will talk about that in the videos. So this is for my one of my um, antenna analyzers. Let's check it out. Okay, this is a uh, box that I use for my Comet antenna analyzer. Like I said before, it's made by uh, Harbor Freight and pretty reasonably priced. And it has the pluck out foam and you just fit all your size of your, whatever you're putting inside of it. And it uh, has room for the, uh, the uh, accessories and, and right there you can see that I was showing that it has a rubber gasket. Okay again I've got uh, kind of a pelican type box made to, it's an Apache case from Harbor Freight again. Okay one of these has my 991A and the other one has a uh, 500 watt amp or 400 watt amp that I use and I want to protect these as best I can especially on my forerunner. That stuff gets thrown around. I can I have places where I can actually strap these down but let's just see how it looks inside. I've got this one and another one, and like I said, one is for my radio, one is for my amp. Okay, again, here we are with with the uh, Pelican style boxes from Harbor Freight. You can see there's a uh, air release valve there. These are watertight boxes, and uh, that releases the pressure on it. It has a place to uh, put a lock on both sides, so you can lock the boxes. Pretty heavy duty handles there. The clips they open it, and then you open it up, and then as you can see, my uh, 991A fits pretty good, has just enough room in the back there for uh, the microphone and the power supply wires. And then just to show you that it is a 991. Now 7300 would fit in this pretty well also because they're just a slit, a hair smaller. So, so good size box. And now here's the back of it, nice heavy duty hinges. And this box will have my, uh, it's a, uh, amplifier for HF uh, it does uh, like 400 watts 500 watts something like that again we've got the locks the nice handle nice clips that uh, open it up and inside I have my Tokyo high power uh, I forget the number on it the foam it, it probably should glue the foam up the top it would keep it in there I've got an area for the power cord and my wire that goes to my radio and this is the Tokyo high power I forget the number of it. It's right there. If you want to click it, it's an HL 40, 450B. It looks like 
Okay, let's look at this one. Same thing, Apache box again, smaller. I, I started making different colors. I wish when I bought my first boxes, they're both black, I would have bought different colors and that would be easier to tell what's in what. Maybe later I'll just get a new box or something else and put one of, like put my amp in a, in a color like this so it's easier to, to tell what's in there without having to write it on there. So let's check this one out. Now this is just a smaller box that I use for my 705. It's got the same uh, lock area, it's the same handle. This, it, now this one I've got a bolt hole on the side also. I can put a, uh, it's like a camera mount that, that a Z and it raises up and I can bring the, the radio out and leave it in the box if I want to. Most of the time I just put it in the box. Now also I have room in this one because it is a little bit bigger um, than the radio. I have room for my antennas. That is one of our uh, antennas that we sell on Coffee and Ham Radios. This, in this bag here I build, I make myself. It's out of uh, uh, like backpacking material. Really good, pretty much waterproof outside of the hole. And this is a, a repurposed uh, mail bag from the post office and uh, I got some mail in it and I turned it inside out and, and made a bag out of it. And this is a Pelican 1010. I will uh, show this, I'll put a link to this in the bottom also in the description. And I use this so, so I can actually see what's in this one. And it's watertight also. As you'll see here, this little blue gasket here actually makes it watertight or you can take it out. But I don't think it'll be watertight then. But uh, Pretty nice because you can see everything that's in the box there. So, yeah, very, very handy. And again, we have the... Uh... Okay, uh, when I go lightweight, if I'm gonna pack some place or have to walk a mile or two and I, I'm gonna do QRP, this is the case I use for my Elecraft. It came with the radio buy as a kit and I'll show you guys what's inside. And I can, I can pretty much put a whole kit for everything I need and everything goes right in there so it takes up a lot less space. And this thing is under two pounds with everything. Let's check this one out. Like I said, uh, this came with a, as a package. It's a, basically a camera case from Low Pro, and fits. I can fit a whole, the whole system in here. Uh, even a throw, a throw um, string. You know, like uh, I use some heavy duty fishing line, and it can go in there also. This here's the microphone. This is a doublet, my little doublet antenna right here. Okay, it works really well. I can get all the way to 80 on it. And there's the radio itself, the KX2, uh, pretty light. And like I said, it's about two pounds by the time you load everything in there. Maybe not in this bag. Actually, it might be just a little bit heavier in this in this case. Okay, this is a company, I use these boxes a lot. Uh, they make different sizes, but all about the same size as, as the, the outside perimeter of it. It's uh, MTM, and they call it Case Guard. These are ammo boxes. But like I said, they make different sizes, and usually it's just the height. And they stack, if you see these right here, I'll show you here. They stack on the back, they have the ridges go the other way. Really good, and again, these are waterproof also. Let's look, at, let's check these out. Okay, so this uh, MTM box is, it's a basically a, for ammo. It has the rubber seal and everything, and these little ridges that it has here, well, it actually it's got really nice uh, latches there, and a place to lock it. And another latch and another place to lock it on the other side. And what I like about this one, it's not real deep, so you don't lose stuff. Like some of you get really a deep box and you'll lose stuff. And there's the gasket I'm showing there, right there. And uh, those ridges in the bottom stack onto the top of the next box. And they actually stay pretty good if you put a little strap over them, they won't uh, come loose. And each box has that on it. I've got the next size bigger, which is about twice the, uh, the height of that one. Okay, like I said, sometimes uh, sometimes I want to take my backpack, uh, either backpacking or sometimes I just throw it in my motorhome or my box trailer. If I'm just taking like my 857, uh, my FT 857, uh, I'll I'll throw it in here and I can carry everything I need in this. And it's just easy. I can even throw clothes in here if I have to, if I'm going to go, you know, or whatever. I need food. So let's check this one out. Uh, I've done a review on this one before. I'll put a link in the description below also. So let's check it out. All right, this is a really well-made backpack, military-style backpack. The nice thing about these is they have lots of pockets uh, to organize your stuff. And I'm opening the pocket here. This one has a place for uh, all kinds, like my fit, my charge cords and stuff like that. Same thing on the other side. And then uh, the next one is kind of hard to open by yourself with one hand here. But the next one has a place for like a pad, uh, pens, and all kinds of stuff, all kinds of storage there also. All right, and the top one here, this is actually 
a lot of times people put their glasses in here, but I keep a few of these little bungee cords and stuff in there to tie I, I masked up with. And I struggle a little bit bone-handed, but I open it up finally, and here's the main compartment. And I, uh, these, these Crown Royal bags are, uh, if you know anybody that drinks uh, Crown Royal, ask them for the bags. They're great for putting things in also. And so there's enough room for my 857 in here and, uh, the, and the cord. Now, something else that's pretty handy is these little craftsman bags. They come in a package of two or three at times, and they're really cheap compared to what they usually uh, cost, single. Um, you can also, you can get something like this at Harbor Freight, and I'm sure Amazon has a ton of these things. I'll look for some and try to put those down in the description and I'll leave you guys a link also. But like this one, this one holds my, uh, one of my antennas. It's a kit where you have lots of parts. I just put them all in here. That way I know everything's in there all the time. And I'll show you what's inside that later. Let's check it out. Okay, so I have my, uh, this is an antenna that I have a lot of parts for, and I keep all the parts in here. And usually have some uh, ground radios in here. I don't think they were in here, but there's pockets on the side there to put things. So, and uh, here's the antenna. I also have my uh, DX Commander in one of these bags like this. All the parts are in it. And it just it's just nice to have everything in one spot uh, instead of having it in a big box with a bunch of other things. And uh, when I use this antenna, I just pull this bag out and uh, take it out, set everything up, and uh, start talking on the air. It's a really good setup. It's a great little antenna. Colin um, designed this. Okay, so you might see a little theme here. Ammo boxes are really good for stuff. Now, this is a metal ammo box. I bought it for another project, but it came in a set of two, and I kept this one for it, and I keep my battery chargers for my lithium batteries in here. Okay, so this is a pretty heavy duty. This is military stuff. I uh, got it off of Amazon in a two-pack. Nice strong handle there. And uh, it's sturdy. It's all metal. And it's got some nice hinges in the back there. In the front, you've got a heavy duty latch that comes up and locks down nice and tight. It also has a uh, rubber seal, I think, if you'll show that here in just a second. And inside, I'm keeping a lot of my uh, battery chargers because if I don't keep in something like this, I, I can't find them half the time. This Victron, I'm going to do a review on this thing. This is an awesome, probably the best battery charger I've seen for lithium batteries out there. And at the top has another little hinge right here, and it you just move it over, and it will take it off, and it takes off one. I'm doing this one-handed, so it comes right off. If you don't want the lid on there when you have it open, or you just slip it right back on, and the nice heavy-duty latch that latches it down there. So it's a, it's a great little box, though. So you guys should try them out. I'll put a link in the bottom, in the description. Okay, same theme, ammo box, $3 from Harbor Freight, guys. In this one, uh, I've made a battery boxes out of these for like a nine amp hour battery. This actually has a 20 amp hour battery. I may make a battery box out of this too, just to uh, make it easier. It protects the battery, but you can use these for all kinds of things. So let's take a look at this one. Now these you can get for like three dollars or so, four dollars, something like that, on uh, on sale at Harbor Freight. Uh, good to have eight little boxes. I've made battery boxes, like I said, out of them. Right now this one is it's got a little lock there. I'm showing a nice little latch, uh, pretty heavy duty. The nice thing about these are they're squarer than a lot of the other ones, the, the more name brand ones, so they have more room in the bottom of them. And that's just got a, a 20 amp hour battery. I did a review on that battery. Um, you guys uh, have probably seen that already. But uh, good little boxes for, for real cheap. I mean, these things can cost quite a bit more on the name brand ones. Okay, this is something I found here recently. This is from uh, Home Depot. It's their, uh, their, their brand. It's red, they come in black also. But what I really like about this, it's got this, the Husky brand, is they have uh, the clear top and it's got a place to lock there. The only problem with this one, you have to lock both sides. It's got latches all the way around and it and, uh, holds down really good. It's got a rubber seal, just like uh, all the ammo boxes. And like I'm showing there, you can see through it to see what's in it. Now, as I here, you can take the whole top off if you want to. There's the red part is the seal, the rubber seal. And it's a, it's a pretty beefy little seal there on that thing, let me tell you. And uh, if you put it back on and you latch the... Uh, to, to the two that I'm doing here now. Now it'll actually work as a hinge. So it's pretty versatile. 
Uh, I keep a lot of my antennas. Uh, this is a, a, a small antenna there. I've got my uh, Mercury sitting in this one, these little bags. These little bags, I'm, I should do a straight review on these bags. They're, uh, I got coax in that one. Um, these bags cost, you get like 10 for $11 on Amazon. I will put a link to those also. That was the Kraken. We haven't sold the Kraken yet. It's huge. It's a 100 watt antenna on, um, actually it'll take more than 100 watts, probably take two or 300 watts. And this is another antenna. This is my uh, Moxin setup and the wires down there for the mox in and just various other, this is like a, a, a doublet there, I think. So really versatile. They're not so big that you get so much stuff that you can't find stuff in the bottom. If you get these really big boxes, now they do make the bo these boxes in multiple sizes and they will stack also and, uh, do, and not fall, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll stack there pretty well for, and stay. And then like I'm showing the lock there, the only problem is you got to have a lock for both sides. Otherwise, people can get into it anyhow. Well, I hope this video was uh, helpful to some of you. And hopefully everybody got something out of this. And I hope you made it to the end. Now, down in the comment section below, if you have different things that you liked, would like to share, please share them in the comment section so that the viewers of the video can look down in there and get even more ideas. These are just some of the things I use, but uh, it's what I use the most, actually. So if you'd like the video, hit that like. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all. That way you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Adventures. Have a great day. Hope to catch you on the airway. 73, all.